approve, review and approve uh, job description for highway form. Okay. Is that in our packets? Is that yes. in yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. okay. Old business, discuss emergency services building revision of the 2022 to 2030 town plan. Todd, you want to start that off? Sure. Uh, the last select board meeting, the select board added in uh, on page two of your package. They added in what's in red. You have the color of the sponsor. We do. There you go. I'm, I'm bringing you into the uh, 21st century. Here. Yes. So this, the select board decided to add this language in, uh, the bottom page 21 that's shown in red. The trustees unanimously rejected the last meeting, so I don't have matching town plans. So I either need you to remove the language or meet with the trustee to convince them why the language needs to be in there. But one of the reasons we're meeting tonight is because I have May 2nd and May 4th hearings warrant. Any language changes have to happen 15 days before the hearing. So in order to keep those hearings and not give the news assistant another check for $500 for a hearing that doesn't matter towards the final process. We have to make a decision on language. Did they provide you with some feedback as to why they rejected uh, in a nutshell, it? The process, they thought it was too expensive, too late in the process, and uh, not enough public input. Really, they basically said, we're okay deleting stuff from the plan. Uh, the plan they said should come from the planners. We're okay deleting stuff, leaving things on the cutting room floor. But they didn't feel it was proper so late in the stage of the 11th hour to add something so significant in at the trustee level. They just weren't comfortable with it. Well, it is true. It is uh, late, late in the game, but I think it's definitely something we want to try to do. I know that, you know, we don't necessarily have to have everything in the plan that we're going to do, but. It made sense what Don said, you know, it makes sense if we're making a plan eventually, hopefully within 10 years to have a new public safety building that it goes in there. But I understand the reasoning for not wanting to have it in there at this late date. We can amend the plan. We can amend the plan later, yes. yes. You can always add this back in if you want. Yes. You, have to take it you have a comment about it, Don? I, I mean, I agree with you. I, I, I apologize. Steve Foster. Steve, um, I just happened to come in here early and there was a planning council meeting so uh, I got invited into the tail end of it and I talked to Steve and talked to the council and great you know I'll just reiterate what I said at the select board meeting last week and that was coming out of the meeting with Jason you know touring the the police department building and yeah. uh, also talking to a few folks around here it seemed like and I think we kind of agree a new public safety building would be a great mm -hmm. idea and uh, the town plan does have some other major construction projects in there. And it just seemed like a bit of a no brainer to, to add this as well. I think it's, you know, hopefully we've got the planning council's attention on this at least at this point. And uh, because people are talking about it, it is something that we're, you know, that seems to be on the, the drawing board. And mm -hmm. I, for one, I haven't toured the, uh, fire department yet, but I've got an idea what I'm going to see when I get in there. And About the same as the police, same kind of yeah, state, you know? A crowded space. And I don't know. We've just put a lot of money in that building. You know? We've done over 30000 on the roof. And we went to steel. We did that. We did the soffits. We're in the process of redoing the classroom, adding a handicap bathroom in the classroom. And as far as us, I took make the last meeting, yeah. is, you know, an eight to 10 year plan for us, we're not getting bigger. The equipment we have, we've actually shrunk one truck when we bought the ladder. So we're not going to be adding any more trucks. The, the six trucks we have will be what we have. So as far as relocating, to me, as far as in that building, I'm not gonna, you know, to do it in two years, I don't know, you know, yeah. it just would be a waste. Okay, no, that's good, good feedback. And we got all new energy efficient lights. I've been putting in the bulbs, the LED bulbs. 
because they'll match right into these light fixtures here that were put in with the T5 or T8 bulbs. Oh, and we maintain it as best we can. I mean, we're looking to do a brick facade on the Randall side because that white vinyl, we have tried pressure washing it, cleaning it, it just is, is what it is. But, you know, that's just a dress thing outside. But as far as the operation of it, the way it's set up, we don't. It's working. Yeah. And, you know, we don't have any complaints. You know, the, I know at one time there was talk about us maybe going over where the town garage, the village garage is now. Right. And I told them if that was the case, the only thing I would ask is I want a road directly to the bypass out of that parking lot. Going straight because across. Because I don't want to have to go down and try to come out around that corner. You know, and, but that's just down the road, wishful thinking. I mean, been talked about a few times. I remember they talked about Union, Union Carbide at one point. Yeah. Putting everybody in there. I mean, it's going to happen probably eventually, but I don't see where us, that we need it within five years. I mean, this is a 10 year plan. Right. I mean, that's why I said eight to 10 years, I'd be more than happy to sit down with the committee for the next project to go, like, okay, hey, this is what our wish list is, and this is what the reality is. Yeah. Well, good, good feedback. Don, if I may, I, I, Mr. Chairman, um, I appreciate the, the sentiment of it, and certainly can appreciate the, the, the want to, to, to upgrade a facility that's seemingly old, right? Um, and I agree that it, it, it does have a place in the town plan when, when, when it makes it to that, when we make it to that process. We are, as, as Bob said, late in that process, and as the trustees had mentioned, um, so any change would cause further delay in our town planning process. Um, and I think that for me as a planning council member is a really tough pill to swallow because this has been a really long process. We've taken testimony for, from hundreds and hundreds of people, literally, about this plan. And is it perfect? No, but we're at the, we're at the point where we're warning meetings for acceptance. And I would personally like to see it get over the edge. Um, taking my planning council hat off for a minute and putting on my EMS hat, I sleep in that building one day a week. Is it a great building? No, but it has rooms. It has enough bays. You know, we have an empty bay in most days. Um, if we're talking about upgrading and spending money on services, I think pay increases for a minute for, for those employees is first and foremost, and then equipment for four buildings because that building does function. You turn the hot water on in the kitchen, it gets cold for 20 minutes and then it gets hot. You turn the cold water on, it gets hot for 20 minutes and then it gets cold. I exaggerate on 20 minutes, but like- You sure the knobs are right? I, trust me, it, it's one of those things where like, if you want a cold glass of water, you turn the knob on, you walk away for a minute or two and then come back and it'll be cold again. <laughs> hmm. Is it an old building? Yes, but I think there are other priorities when you're talking about municipal services that would take precedent over a complex site. Right? I can't speak for the police department and I don't speak for the EMS department, but I am there one night a week. I spent, you know, my, my Monday night is spent in that building, um, you know, aside from wherever else I go over. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, again, I appreciate it, but I would ask that you please consider removing this language so that we can get to the end. Now so, that I know that I'll have to stop and bang on the window when I'm going. Come on over, dude, Monday night. Come on, dude. <laughs> Not alone, oh. that's my number. <laughs> So good. Are we looking to withdraw the motion from last week or put in a new one? I think to strike the motion would be most in order. Denny, you had a you had a comment there. The proper way to make a motion for removal language. Yeah. Last week. It has to be a positive. So thing. make a new motion. Yeah, it has to be a positive tone. Yeah. Uh, to the motion itself, it can't be a negative tone. Did you have a comment first? Well, yeah, we don't have that problem, but we are in the next budget year. Hopefully in two years, we're going to be looking to replace a pumper. So, uh, 
don't know. A one's pretty old. We might have to thumb wrestle. Uh, I don't know. Our That's engine one. Budget. Our engine one's an O three. <laughs> I mean, and I can you know. take out what we pay to keep it going. Yeah. <laughs> right. But you could be looking at five anyway. Yeah. You know, for a class A pumper. Mm -hmm. We're going back with a commercial cab. It's not going to be a custom. But just to keep that in mind, that D's like, just when Steve said that, it got me thinking. Yeah, right. That's right. We're coming up to replace a truck, trying to get a loan paid before we do another loan. Mm -hmm. So it's in the process, but not. <laughs> okay. So I would make the motion to remove the language from April 4th in regards to a new public service. Safety building. Everything yes. in the red, right? <laughs> Every, everything in the red that's in the town plan, yeah. I have a motion by Don. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Brian. Is there any further discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The motion is passed unanimously. 4-0. On behalf of the planning council, thank you so much. Yes. Appreciate Great, it. thanks for the input, Steve. Yeah. And you too, Denny. All and right, you too, to Denny. I ain't ready to move yet, so I gotta, I'm a mile away. I like where the station is. I knew that was the real reason. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I bought a house because of that. <laughs> thanks, Steve. See you later. Thanks. Have a good night. See you out there. I'm just yeah. glad I came so I could have a, an opinion for the fire department. Yeah. All right, we'll go to new business. Um, well, let's do the approve the highway job description. The so highway we are permit. in the process of hiring for the foreman's position uh, at the village garage. Now we have two vacancies currently. One of those was created when Doug uh, left on employment, uh, retired uh, last November. Matt Fredericks has been serving as the acting team leader over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had promised the guys that the, the structure we're implementing was a superintendent and two foremen. Uh, we're fulfilling that promise with this. So when we got ready to do this, the intent is for us to do the, the job announcement internal first, hiring from within. That was our preference. We've done this with other uh, segments of our town government, uh, emergency services. Uh, in fact, we're going to be doing that with the rescue squad from July 1st. So uh, we felt it was appropriate to give the folks that have given us their dedication first shot at the position. Uh, when we looked at the job description that was on file here, it was obvious it had not been updated in some long time. And there were still references to town administrator in this, you know, highway superintendent. So we needed to update that language, which happened just yesterday, overnight, and then again this morning, finished it up. And yeah, thanks to Tina for, for jumping on this thing and getting it straightened out. There were some things that need to be changed back and forth just because job responsibilities have changed over the year between the superintendent and the form. But this is the finished product. Uh, looking for a blessing from the uh, select board on the job description, and we'll update it. The date is already at the bottom, uh, anticipating their approval, and that will all file here. And as a result of this, we'll also see uh, down the road here some other job descriptions that we're going to be updating. We just come across some that are very outdated. So, uh, but anyway, this is one for your time. Good. All right, do I hear a motion regarding this? Make a motion we accept the job description for the highway foreman for the highway department. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion with it? I appreciate having physical demands in there. Yes. That's really important. It is really important. And if we find anything that need anything else that needs to be in there, we can always amend it and change Absolutely. it. Absolutely. At any time. Yeah. Kevin, are you happy with this? Yeah. You've read it all yeah. and we were here last night with Scott and Eric to help move through. Yeah, okay. It looks good to me. I read it. Looks responsible. Is there any further discussion on this? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion is passed. 4 0. Denny. Just a question. In house town garage, is that what you mean by in house? Highway department as a whole. Right. right. Yeah. Because I got one of them in my bio. Well, it's one of one. That letter. Job description? Yeah. yeah. So it's in my truck. And when you said in house, I just want to make sure. What letter do you have then? We haven't done anything with it. I've got a copy of the job description. 
and he's got. Um, it was just put in here today. Yeah, yeah, Paul just put it in there today, but we weren't going to actually post it until the job description was approved. Oh, it was in the department's folders. That was where you got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it was in my red folder, but yeah. what I'm asking is Should you post if, it you, if, if you haven't nobody from the highway department, was this meant for me to ask posted at the firehouse? I mean, right. our guy's a volunteer, but they're still Nor kind of employees. So. Normally, when we advertise in house, it is done through everybody that is employed through the town. So if I wanted to apply for it, I could too. So that's what practice has been in the past, and I think that's what Paula intended when she put it. So when he says in house, we think of just the highway department. But it could be somebody from fire if they're qualified. From different I just don't want to yeah. post it and have somebody ask me about it. And then I tell them, oh, I'm sorry, I post that wrong. We should have that. You know, yeah. that's why it was no, a question. I mean, yeah. No, I think it's, it's for anybody that works for the town. That's good clarification to have that, you know, because a lot well, of people may I not realize that. When the job I have now was posted at the highway garage. Denny wants to do it? <laughs> Denny wanted to do it. Anyway. That's what I figured. <laughs> You don't want me in this office. <laughs> I know Eric doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. But no, okay, that was that was just the question before. Good question. I put yeah. it on the bulletin board. Now that it's been accepted, I just want to make sure I wasn't doing yeah. nothing. No. There is an end date on that as well. So you cut off date for application. Thank you. Okay. All right. Next, new business. Discuss possible funding for municipal buildings. So last week, I received an email from Peter Roach's office. One of your representatives sent it to me. Uh, it went out on a blast all over the state. And it was, a, it was an announcement that there is a funding stream available through Peter Roach, your, our state representative. Uh, and he is able to take 15 projects back to Washington, as are all representatives from around the country to put into the mix to apply for funding to fund the projects themselves. Shovel ready projects, right? Yeah. <laughs> when I read it, oh. the deadline is this Sunday for submission. Uh, the day before our next meeting, hence tonight's meeting without uh, another reason for today's yeah. uh, That was my first impression. I don't have a shovel ready project, so I, I, I went on the next meeting. Right. Half an hour later, I got a call from Rob Bull across the street at LCPC. He said, did you get the email? I said, I did. Went through what I had, my perception of it was, and he said, well, I just talked to Seth, and he feels that this money also can be used toward architectural design and engineering, as well as building the structure. I said, interesting. He said, or would you like to talk about it further? So we set up a meeting the next day. We went on Thursday, had a meeting with them, and uh, just, has to be back and forth. And I said, the timing on this is a little uncanny, but uh, I said, I got a highway garage that we currently lease for a hundred, rough ballpark, $100,000 a year. <coughs> and it's money that I would like to see go for a mortgage payment. And I said, if we can get this money, you know, to pay mm -hmm. for the, the, the architectural drawing, the engineering, and the, the, all the stuff that goes with it. Wouldn't that be just a wonderful thing for the town of Washington? Yes, so it would. To focus our efforts on other municipal buildings. <clears throat> Understand this is, we would be joining a lottery to join a lottery. So mm -hmm. everybody in the state is throwing their projects at Representative Walsh's office. Mm -hmm. He'll choose 15. Those 15 go on to Washington and get into the next lottery. I mean, it's, it perhaps is a long shot, but it's worth, to me, it was worth the shot. To Absolutely. Do. Other towns in the community are doing the same thing with their projects. There's at least three towns, including us, that are looking for highway garages. And uh, so because of the short timeline, Seth Jensen from SCPC has been working to put together the package necessary to send it to the Washington office. Because part of that is you have to have a state agency for the money to run through, to pass through. And they have to write a letter saying yes we will take we will pass the money through here mm -hmm. so uh that's he had there were some letters of support that need to be gathered they're in the process of doing that on our behalf 
and we'll probably have a packet ready for them later this week. What I'm looking for tonight is motion from the board allowing me to sign on your behalf to submit a proposal for our highway garage. And the dollar figure attached to it is $4 million. I estimated at the top of my head, not, not the engineer guy, right? So I said three million. And Seth said, if you're going to do three, let's say four. Let's just make sure. Okay? So four million it is. And that's still what the project's going to pull up as. The, the match on this is 20%, $800,000. That's a pretty inexpensive addition. It would be. It would be if we won the lottery, right? We won the lottery. That sounds very good. You have a motion prepared? I do not. I'm looking for the board to approve uh, my signing on your behalf on a packet be sent to Representative Welch's office. Uh, Do you have that done or Tootie? <laughs> I think mm -hmm. so, yeah. Are you writing it down? I just represent her Welch's office. I'll make a motion that we authorize Eric to sign on our behalf to submit a funding request. Funding request to uh, Representative Welch's office. For the, the purpose of a new highway. Is it to say for the ARPA funds or not ARPA? Not ARPA. No. Okay. This is a whole, this is a funding stream that's there every year. Okay. Okay. Strike that. All right. I have a motion. Is there a second? Second. Second by Brian. Any further discussion about it? Is uh, the match we got? We got a way to get it there. Well, we'll find a way, right? We'll find a way. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, if if something in the proposal doesn't look right, or if it isn't what I imagine it was to be, then I won't sign it your behalf because I, I will make sure that you are all going to know exactly what the point is. Right. That's, that's the focus I have. Seth and I, we're talking the same language, so unless something changes, I'll, I'll sign it your behalf. Because you know, I'll just vote. Okay. Any and, further discussion? And the vision is for something on the Cochrane Road. It is. The vision is for an addition to the current Cochrane Road. Okay. All in favor say aye. Aye. <coughs> Any opposed? Motion is passed. 4 0. Any other business? Yes, really? <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear a motion to adjourn? So moved. I have a motion by Judy. You have a second? Second. Second by Brian. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Wow. Eric did say he had a second.